I could have tamed you, I could have shown That I could depose you from your loud throne But in the end I wasn't good enough I just showed the gems that I ain't got the stuff Oh, Wailing Stone I tried so hard to fly but I was thrown Oh, oh Wailing Stone I gotta tell the gems cause they should know Have a little, have a little, have a little faith in me I just wanted to help you know I have a little, have a little, have a little expertise I know it's not much, but if it could come in handy I'd want to be there I think so highly of you It just isn't fair That you have so little faith Eh, that's a B-side Dad, I hate seeing you like this There's gotta be something else we can try uh. I don't know, Steven. I mean, sound and stuff like this? This stuff's my whole world, and if I can't figure this out, then maybe it isn't even sound. But, Dad, if it isn't sound, then what else could it be? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Wait. What? Dad! I'm not that far away from you, buddy. What if it... Uh, some other thing I'm not good at? Magic eyeballs. Oh my days, it's video. We have to tell the gems. Video! Hey, slow down. I just want to help. Have some faith in... <laughs> we over here. I know my audio equipment seems like a pile of earth junk to y'all, but I... Greg, it's okay. No, it's not. You guys don't give up on anything. Except for me. Come on, it's not like I can make it any worse. Go for it, Garnet. Okay, Amethyst, try it now. Never started a car with a key before. <laughs> That's way easier. The battery's ready to go. The Wailing Stone's ready. Ready with the video cord, Steven? Ready. <laughs> Is that it? Just a second. I hear something. Come on. Steven. Lapis? I did it. I hope you're able to hear this. There's a gem that's looking for you. She even knew your name. I don't know how. I didn't tell her, I swear. She's on her way to Earth. And she's not alone. Steven, homeworld? It's not the way it used to be. Everything here is so advanced. I can't even understand it. There's no way anything on Earth can stand up to it. Please, don't put up a fight. It will only lead to devastation. It's Peridot. She must be talking about Peridot. She's coming for us! Lapis, she sounds so unhappy. I really cannot this believe this is bad happening. News. This is not What are we good. gonna do? You. What? Huh? We did it. What? We got the message. But... It's got. Thank you, Greg. We would not have received this message without your help. You... you're welcome. My dad is... The best. Oh my gosh, Steven's a robot. Help! I can't relate to my robot son! My mind is the internet. I know every continuity mistake ever made on television. <laughs> but when the sun goes down, so does the town. Oh my gosh, how come there's still no power? You said it would be on by sundown. <laughs> Everyone just calm down. I'm sure if we just talk rationally, we can come to an agreement. No agreement. You promised us. Without power, I can't take care of my family. Well, this one's fine, but he can't take care of himself. I'm sure the power will be on tomorrow, I think. Maybe. Stop pulling our legs. You lied to us, and you're lying again. Please, good citizens of Beach City, how? Oh, you're a liar. If 
you'd all just calm down. Tipped and dropped! Everyone, please! The power might not be back on tonight. It might not be back on for even a year. But I know that you're all going to be okay because I know each and every one of you. You're smart and you're tough and you're resourceful and you all care about each other more than you care about microwave dinners or video games or being able to see in the dark. I know it'll hurt your businesses. I know it'll hurt your lives. But are we really going to hurt each other? Oh, that's of course not. We'll face the night together and we'll survive because we are the light of Beach City! Yeah! yeah! Oh, yes. Yeah, thank you, Steven. I couldn't have said it better. Don't try to warm your way out of this. Oh, no, no! It's okay, it's okay. Merrick Dewey was hiding things from you, but he did it because he didn't want you to worry. He was just sheltering you from the truth because he... he loves you. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, hey, Steven. If I could just concentrate the Um, do you guys want to talk? And why would we need to do that? Hey, Steven, you still owe us a game of cards. Yeah, get in on this. N no, I don't want to play cards. I want to talk about Peridot. Oh, yes, well, everything is fine. No, it's not. I know it's not. I know you, you just don't want me to be scared, but just tell me the truth. Peridot is coming, and we don't know who or what she'll be coming with. She's a modern gem with modern gem technology that's bound to overpower us. Stephen, the truth is, we're scared. We've been scared before, right? None of us know what's going to happen, but that's okay. We can figure things out, together. This is who we are, this is who I am. If you think you can stop me, then you need to think again. Because I am a feeling, and I will never end. And I won't let you hurt my planet, and I won't let you hurt my friends. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I know you think I'm not something you're afraid of. Because you think that you seen what I'm made of. But I ain't even more than the two of them. Everything they care about is what I am. I am their fury. I Patience, I am a conversation. I am a and it's stronger than you. And it's stronger than you. Guardian! This ship is going down! What about Lapis? There's no time! Stronger than you. Nice one. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you're a fusion all the time. You met Ruby and Sapphire? Oh, no. We were going to introduce you, Garnet, your plan. We were waiting for your birthday. We can still do it. I'll just pretend I didn't know. <laughs> <gasps> Don't think you've won. You only beat me because you're a fusion. If I had someone to fuse with, I'd... Come here, brat! Aw, oh, don't fly off so soon. Lapis! Lapis, listen. Fuse with me! What? How long did they keep you trapped here on this miserable hunk of rock? <sighs> These gems, they're traitors to their own world. They kept you prisoner. They used you. This is your chance to take revenge! Come on. Just say yes. Lapis, don't do it!
doing? I'm done being everyone's prisoner. Now you're my prisoner, and I'm never letting you go! Lapis! Let's stay on this miserable planet together! Yikes. They are really bad for each other. Uh, hello? Steven, I got your message. Are you okay? What's going on? Your glasses. What about them? I healed your eyes. You don't even need to wear those anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? All that stuff you told your parents about my family. You're just ashamed of me. Oh, whatever, Steven. Let's just focus on getting through the evening. So? Steven was telling me that on his mom's apple farm, they're bioengineering a Galafuji hybrid. Yes, that's definitely true. Isn't that right, Mrs. Universe? Ugh! What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? I'm hungry! I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Cut it out, you two! Stop! You don't have to eat it! Oh, thank you so much. You don't know how horrified I was when that dreck nearly fell into our mouths. Eating food is so disgusting. You chew it into nasty mush, swallow that goop, then it comes out of you? What a completely horrid experience. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> I love it when mush passes through my body. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you two think. We're doing this for Steven. <laughs> what is going on here? Who are they? I knew I should have trusted my bad feelings about this new friend of yours, but I never thought I wouldn't be able to trust my own daughter. <sighs> Connie! Connie. Steven, I'm so sorry. It's not that I'm ashamed of you. I was so worried that my parents would think all this magic stuff is weird. What if they don't let me hang out with you anymore? <laughs> I, I'm sorry I messed everything up. I wish there was a way we could just hang out without having to worry about stuff. Steven, let's just hop on a bus and live somewhere else without telling anyone. That's a great idea! <clears throat> Where's this bus taking us? Wherever we end up, we'll find a way to survive. I've been reading about sustainable living. Maybe it'll take us to a real apple farm. What's up with you and apples today? Uh, uh... Steven! You two, come out of that bus this instant! Ah, uh, okay. Uh, j just put the bus down first. I don't even know where to begin with you, young lady. What were you thinking running off with Connie like that? You could have gotten yourselves hurt. Or gotten mangled in traffic. Or thrown in prison. Steven, you are in very big trouble, and we have no choice but to punish you. But... No dinner for 1,000 years. 1,000? We would never starve you, but you will lose your TV privileges for 1,000 years. No! The mid-season pre finale of Under the Knife! How can you do this to me? Because we love you, Stephen. Uh... Wow, that was a masterful use of the Because We Love You shutdown. I'm quite partial to the It's For Your Own Good myself. That 1,000 years of no dinner bit was pretty funny. <laughs> All comedy is derived from fear. Oh, you are too much. I did not know what to make of the two of, excuse me, four of you, but I see that you are responsible parents to caregivers, guardians. So I can still hang out with Steven? Sure. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> And bam! The secret team is back on top! Steven, secret team is over. Secret team? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, come on. We had so much fun together. Getting along, sneaking around. Steven, that was not about fun. That was about fixing our terrible mistake. Uh, your terrible mistake? 
You shouldn't have had that bubble in the first place. It never would have popped if you hadn't invaded my personal space. Oh, come on, team, team. Fine. You can have all the personal space you want, because I never want to be on a team with you again. <gasps> Good. I don't want to be on a team with you either. Fine. Fine. Guys, come on. I'm here. I have something I want to tell you. Pizza. No! I need to come clean. Pearl and Amethyst popped a bubble. We made a secret team to cover it up, because they didn't want you to know. And now you're trying to do the right thing. Not really. I just want secret team again. I see. I know how to handle things with them. We'll have to form our own secret team to do it. <gasps> you mean like a super secret team? Pizza daughter, I'll take one pizza posse card. <gasps> Garnet! What's the deal? Steven, what's this all about, Garnet? I know all about the gem shards. Uh... It... it was me. I'm the one who popped the bubble all by myself. Steven, I can't believe you. If no one has anything else to say, and everyone else is innocent, Steven, I'm going to have to punish you. No, not punishment. <sighs> Come with me, Steven. Garnet! So you two can't get along unless you think I'm going to kill you. Steven, I know you wanted to help them. You wanted to protect them, even from me. They made you feel like you had to take their side. But there are no sides, because we're all in the same team. The Crystal Gems! You know what? Between the four of us, we could have had a free pizza. Huh? Oh, no, you don't! Garnet! Amethyst! Oh! Where are you going? Huh? Oh. You're coming from all over? Ow! Oh! Hey! Stop it! Whoa! die. A tired, frozen little sad sack. Take deep breaths. So this is what you saw. I don't care about that. I do. I should have listened to you. You're a crystal gem too. 
Stephen, are you okay? Amethyst heard the warp pad activate and Garnet said you were floating outside the stream and... Uh, what is that? You don't know? Whoa, that thing's far out. It's some kind of space robot. There were tons of them. And it looked like they were all going to the same place. Huh? What are they doing to the homeworld warp? There's a million of them. They fixed it? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Log date, 312. This is Peridot, performing Earth Hub maintenance check. Peridot? Her name is Peridot. Mm -hmm. Prepare success. All 79 flask robinoids deployed and accounted for. Preparing to locate and manually reactivate kindergarten. <laughs> The little ones are like her babies. <gasps> now to access the domestic warp. Huh? Huh. This site may have been compromised. Gem? Where did she come from? What was she trying to do? Huh? It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's not coming back. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <gasps> Am I supposed to do something here? Whoa. Inside of Lion's Mane, anyone. <gasps> and he keeps sleeping on Stephen's face. But Stephen doesn't want me watching him anymore, so one of you two has to do it. Sadie! Sadie! Stephen, you know donuts aren't ready for another hour. Really? Come on! That voice. <laughs> Greg made a friend. What? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I'm sorry, I'm getting stage fright here. Tell us about yourself. Well, let's see here. My name is Greg. No, 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 this is all wrong. Okay, go! They call me. Mr. Universe! Get ready, baby. You're gonna have the coolest dad this side of the cosmos. Press the 
Oh, what, Rose? Oh, right. <laughs> Was that the right one? Uh, maybe. Now, what does this one do? Isn't it remarkable, Stephen? This world is full of so many possibilities. Each living thing has an entirely unique experience. The sights they see, the sounds they hear, the lives they live are so complicated and so simple. I can't wait for you to join them. Stephen, we can't both exist. I'm going to become half of you. And I need you to know that every moment you love being yourself, that's me loving you and loving being you because you're going to be something extraordinary. You're going to be a human being. Hey, Rose! Take care of them, Stephen. Hey, Sadie, come on, we gotta open up. What in the world did you guys watch? Hey, Mom. You know how I said you didn't have to make me those lunches anymore? Steven, where are you going? I'm gonna go fix Ronaldo! I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> Yo, Ronaldo! <laughs> uh, so, see anything? Weird lately? No, everything's normal. Snickmen are real, and we're puppeting the Gome. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mr. Snakey. Waveforms seem typical for a 12th dimensional being of this size. Arms appear to be vestigial. Ronaldo? Is that one of the monster people you've been hunting? No, no, not monster, Petey. Snursin. It's very scientific! Still, better safe than sorry. What's this for? For me! In case the amphibonoids turn my body into a host vessel! No! Petey, Petey, Petey! You gotta look at the big picture here! Something important is finally happening to me! Hello? We know you have our Steven! Give him up, Curly! <gasps> you snake people! Hiding like cowards in your false humanoid exteriors! Steven's got nothing to do with this! It's me you want! Oh! You snonster! Steven! Okay, okay! You forced me to use my ultimate weapon! Step back! Psychic ghost powers activate! Yasuga ba ba ba! 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 Everybody stop! I'm okay! Nice pants. <laughs> Steven! Your legs! When did they get to you? Ronaldo! It's not real! It was just me. Again. That makes no sense. <laughs> I just wanted to inspire Ronaldo to be weird again. No! It, it just isn't that simple. There's got to be more to it than just you. Um. <laughs> but there is more. Steven is just a, a small piece of the puzzle. Look at this. I think it's got to be um, level eight beings pulling the strings. Get real, Petey. 
Level 8 beings are a worker society incapable of such organization. Whoa, wait a minute. How did I never see this before? I know what the diamond means. Polymorphic sentient rocks! <laughs> you sure will be better like that? Yeah, he's happy, you know? Yeah. They're here to hollow out the Earth! It's part of the Great Diamond Authority! They'll take on any form! Connie! Is this a normal magical mission for you? Because I'm not sure how comfortable I am with you going on these any- Dad! Dad! Are you okay? Oh, I think my leg's broken. See, this is why we wear seatbelts, kids. Lapis! I don't want to fight anymore! I said, I don't want to fight! Steven? Lapis, I'm coming up to see you. So please don't drown me. Wait, Steven! <laughs> Lapis! What are you doing here, Steven? What? I... No! What are you doing here? This thing! The ocean! This is crazy! Can't we work this out? We gems should be friends! Whoa. Don't you know anything, Steven? You're friends. They don't really care about other gems. All they care about is the Earth. But I never believed in this place. I just want to go home. I know how important home can be, but that's why I'm here. You took the ocean away, and the ocean is an important part of my home. I'm only using the ocean because my gem is cracked. If I just stretch it far enough... Oh, this is never going to work. Oh, I can fix your gem! I have healing powers! Wait, you have healing powers? I know, right? Oh, what should I... Oh, uh, sorry. This might be a little weird. What? <sighs> Thank you, Steven. No problem, Bob. It's Lapis. Yeah. Okay. Bye. without causing a cave-in anyway. Hmm. That's how. I just don't know if this will work. <laughs> All right, centipedal! <laughs> Shooting star, here we come.
Ancient elemental, so hot and so volatile, it can only be contained in ice. Bare skin cannot endure its intensity. What do you do with the shooting star? Uh, you shoot it. Garnet, you'll need to use your gauntlet so as not to hurt your hands. <laughs> no, 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 not now! Something's wrong. <laughs> You did a good job training the centipedal. Your mother would be so proud. She would? The truth is, Rose Quartz had tried to use her powers to save these monsters too, but she was never able to heal them. Never? But if she couldn't do it... Who knows? Maybe when you have better control of your powers, you might help them in ways even your mother couldn't. Even this one. I'll keep it safe. Wow! Steven! You can bubble gems! Wow. Wait for me, Centipedal. I promise I'll heal you up someday. Oh, wait! Hey, Steven. Maybe, um, you could work out a bit, too? Huh? I have been. We've been working out. You've just been singing some dumb song. But you're doing a great job pumping us up. Thanks, but I need to get strong too. I'm switching to four-wheel drive. <sighs> Steven, come on. We're ready to get started. We can't work out without your mad coaching skills. Uh, be there in a sec. Uh, 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 uh. So sore from getting ripped. I don't understand. Amethyst and Garnet still aren't back yet. I tried to warp back to check on them, but the warp pad is down. Uh, Are you seeing there. this too? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell is that? You left me behind! We just thought you didn't need any help. Now, why don't you separate, and we can all sit down and relax? No! Pearl! Ugh. Listen to me. You've been fused for too long. You're losing yourselves. I am myself, and I'm sick of being split up! So you better get used to me, baby, and get this junk off my beat! Why is she wrecking Dad's gym? Why is she attacking you? Steven, get out of here! Ah! What, you want to fight? You'll thank me later! Come on, kid! Dad, no pearls! You think you're something? You! Nothing! My muscles! Steven! 
sorry, Stephen. Garnet. Amethyst. I wasn't strong enough to protect you. I'm not strong enough to do anything. Come on, Pearl! Don't give up! I know you can take her down! I can't. Yes, you can! Come on, you always know what to do! You've got to show her what you showed me! That you're strong, Pearl! Strong in the real way! What? You want some more? Anytime! You're no match for me! Not even close! You think that's enough to be- Amethyst! Garnet! Are you okay? Yeah, Sugulite just overworked our bodies. It's a little painful. And I've got a monster headache. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Hey, Onion! Have you seen Lars and Sadie? They should have just been out here. Hey, if you see them, let me know, okay? Here. Have a donut. I'll leave it here for you. See you later. All the lights are on, but no one's here. PD? Oh, fry bits. Usually I'm all about the bits, but I'm feeling kind of spooked right now. You know what? I think I'm gonna go look around some more. See you later, Frybo! <laughs> Connie! I can't believe it's you! When did you get back in town? Huh? Ah! The water! Connie, what's happening? Where is everyone? He was incredible! Uh, he uh, was incredible! He was incredible! What? He was incredible! Get me out of here! He what's wrong incredible. with your faces? Lion, you too! Can someone please explain this? Dad, is that you? What? Of course. Are you doing all right? You look like you saw a ghost. Either that or you stayed up all night playing a video game. Dad, I'm freaking out. I feel like I'm stuck inside of some crazy dream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't we share some of those donuts and you can tell me about this crazy night you're having? The gems were trying to tell me something about Mom's room. But I was so mad, I didn't listen. They're always leaving me behind, and I guess I wanted to do it to them, too. That's not so bad. Everyone needs some alone time now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun for a while, but now the whole city, everyone, and everything is acting really weird. Well, the important thing is you told the truth. Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> uh, Dad? Your advice is making less sense than usual. Well, the important thing is family and friendship, honesty, values, and no one got arrested. Steven. I want to be back with the gems! <gasps> Garnet! <gasps> Ow. <gasps> You're not clouds! All right, Steven! 
happen? Oh, go ah, guys, it was awful. I was trapped in a messed up version of Beach City. Everyone was acting super weird and... You let Rose's room build the whole town? It can't handle a task like that. Thank goodness you're okay. <sighs> Guy. I used to be a doctor. Maybe you're just more fun around other uh, uh, guys? Dave Guy? I thought I saw the last of. Uh, hey, what's the big guy? Dia? <gasps> Onion! This is ridiculous. How did he get my replicator? That child should not be in possession of such an item. Aren't these Stevens, little man? Oh! They're called guys! Can you please explain this mess? I traded that replicator for Ranger Guy! Steven, why didn't you just replicate Ranger Guy? Dang it! Let's go before this gets any worse. What? How do you move in this stuff? Try and act like a rich duck. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, I just wanted some ice cream! Hi, Greg. What the heck is going on out here? Uh, you know, just doing our thing. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> this is not a game. <laughs> what did he shoot? At least to stop raining toys. Ah, Rich Dog! Amethyst borrow anything again. <laughs> Darn it! I'm not cleaning up this mess. I think I understand why you took my ranger guy, Onion. I bet you get pretty lonely waiting for your dad all day. You were probably really bored, too. And because you missed your dad, you took my ranger guy, which is a symbol of the relationship I have with my dad. No? Just the first thing? Well, here. You need it more than I do. Let's go. So all the stuff that got copied turned into nothing? Yep. Rats. That was really cool what you did back there. Thanks, Dad. But you went through all that trouble for a toy? It was more about the memories than the toy. Now we have new memories. Horrible, horrible memories. You had fun at the boardwalk, right? Harry! Oh, come on. You gotta work with me here. This is Pearl's favorite tree. Don't you recognize it? What's on your mind? Come on, don't hold back. Challenge accepted! What? Oh no, the tree! Challenger defeated! Ooh. Real Pearl would never do that! Ah, you're hopeless! Get away from me! It's too bad you're still not back, Pearl. Because I just found a copy of the fifth Lonely Blade movie! <sighs> 
long are you gonna make me wait, Pearl? <gasps> oh, the popcorn's done! Stay right there! <gasps> Do you wish to test your skills against me in a duel? No! No sword fighting! Draw your sword and fulfill your destiny! Huh? No! Leave real Pearl and me alone! Go back on your sheet! Brother! Is that you? Yes, it's me, your brother. Your technique is. Whoa! Not this dog is really good. What do you think, Pearl? Harry! No! Brother! <laughs> brother! Just wait a minute. You're not my real brother! Ah, Blade! Your technique is impressive. It's about waiting carefully for the perfect moment to... <laughs> the TV! Why must you destroy the things I love? Challenger defeated. Continue? I hate you! I hate you! You're nothing like Pearl! Pearl is smart, and she always wants to protect me from danger! All you want to do is fight me! Challenge accepted! Alright, fine! Basic attack mode initiated! Harry! Harry! Thrust! Harry! Don't Harry, see thrust, that! Harry! Harry! Thrust! <laughs> Basic attack mode defeated! Now initiating advanced mode! Challenger wins. Do you wish to duel again? No! Steven, we have fighting. Ow. Are you all right? What's going on? Oh, just mopping. <gasps> Die! You know, I might miss Pearl a whole lot, but sometimes you just have to accept things the way they are before you... That's much better. Oh, hey, miss me much? Oh, man, I had this whole thing planned out for when you came back. Uh, Steven, what happened to your room? I don't even want to know what happened to you. I got hit by an airplane. Whoa, look at all this armor. Press my nose, press my nose. The... Are those light cannons? Next. Axes. Spiky chain balls! A giant... Penny? Does that mean it's worth more than a regular penny? Well, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great, but... I get the feeling, though, I'm not really supposed to be here. I want you here! I mean, I don't want you here. I guess Lion wants us here, but I want us to be at the movies, and I want to see lots of explosions. <gasps>
Whoa! Uh, 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 Connie, here, I have something for that. Sorry, they're not that cold. Thanks. Well, we're here. Shall we go in? That's, that's okay. Let's, let's just forget about it. Huh? I, I'm sorry. Uh, I ruined everything, didn't I? I don't know why you hang out with me. I mess stuff up all the time. I don't know why you hang out with me. I'm so much more, less interesting than you. And obviously, you have some sort of magical destiny. Why would you even care about something like Dogcopter? Why? Because it's Dogcopter! He's a dog, and a helicopter, and a cop! He shoots missiles out of his butt, and he's gonna save the world! Dogcopter is very cool and important to me. Well, I'm no Dogcopter. What the? <laughs> supposed to beat it. Lion, what do we do? Uh, this is weird, right? You have a sword in your head? Why don't you tell me you can do these things you do? It came through! Pops. We'll be free! Steven, this is a bad idea. Where are we? The bottom of the ocean. <gasps> It's okay! Are we even close to the shore? Yeah, sure. Let's start rolling. It's a good thing this bubble is airtight. Otherwise, we'd be drowning right now. <laughs> Don't worry, Connie. I have an idea that will definitely work. When we get back... <laughs> a huge worm! It's okay. Look, it only wants to eat that bright stuff. See? Not scary at all. <laughs> uh, sorry, are you all right? It's not so bad. Uh, it's, it's okay. I, uh... It's not okay! You keep saying that, but you don't know what you're doing. Now we're going to suffocate or starve at the bottom of the ocean. And only my parents will notice because no one else cares about me. Huh? I'm gonna disappear without ever making a single friend. <laughs> friends? I saw you at the boardwalk parade last year. You dropped your bracelet. I picked it up, but then I couldn't find you. I saved it in the freezer so it would last longer, in case I saw you again. Oh! You were the kid on the car wash float. You had soap bubbles in your hair. I was supposed to be a scrub brush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Connie. If I had returned your bracelet back then, you wouldn't be stuck in this bubble with me now. No, it's okay. I'm having fun. It's so 
okay! Now go! Go! Run that way! Uh, I'm sorry! Introduce us. Stephen was so excited to meet you. Right, Stephen? Uh, <laughs> hey, don't mess with his funky flow. Funky flow? <laughs> Please, no more fries! <laughs> Fry bomb! Stop! coming from? Ah, I get it. I pushed you too hard. I thought you wanted to be as good a Fryman as you could be. You're a tough kid for putting up with it as long as you did. The truth is, you're a valued member of Fryman Brothers Incorporated and all its affiliates. Oh, oh, oh. Dad! No! He'll mash your potatoes! What are you gonna do? My job! Stephen! Did you put my missing shard in that fry costume? Yes! Didn't you hear what I said about the living armor and infantries and many, many deaths? No! Oh, Stephen. Everywhere. I can't see. Shorts. Need. What? Stephen? Dad. Ah! Go away. Petey. You are awful. I hate you. I've always hated you. Wait. You've always hated Frybo? Talk. Oh. Steven! Where? Attack! I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. Underwear, go! <laughs> I buried my butt, I knew he'd crack. You were great, Frybo. The kids today just didn't understand. And now, they never will. Weren't people scared of it before he attacked them? Shh! It's time. To send him off. <sighs> as greasy in death as he was in life. Dad, um, I'll. Are you going to get another costume? No, I don't need another fry bow. I've got the fry man. Pearl, I think our work here is done. Put your clothes on, Stephen. Hold on! An exit! Woo! Skills! Get back here! You're completely missing the point of 
this. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Steven! There you are. Pearl, sweet! Two out of three! Oh, oh! Steven! Be careful! Why? What? <gasps> Whoa! You really shouldn't be in here. This is the Crystal Heart. Oh, it's connected to the most dangerous areas of the temple. Hold on tight and don't look down. <gasps> oh, hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> I dream too big. Let's order pizza. Pizza's a, a better idea. idea. Yeah, 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 let's yeah. do that. I Definitely. Like it. It's good. This is amazing! Mm-hmm. It's invisible! Huh? What? He's not invisible. He's pink. Pink? How can he be invisible and pink? There's nothing out here, Ronaldo. Steven was lying. Sorry for using the same pun twice. No! I'm telling the truth! He's real! Onion, you believe me, right? Huh? <gasps> hey! Hey, Lion! You left me at the pizza place! I looked like a fool! I had to eat a whole pizza by myself! <laughs> Lion? Lion, no! <sighs> Lion? <sighs> Keep it down, Steven. What was that for? The pillow? Is this what you wanted? This pillow? I've been trying to play with you and feed you because I thought we were best friends. Did all of that mean nothing to you? 
Uh, fine! I don't care! If you want it, you can have it! Nyah! Steven! The desert glass! It's rebuilding its castle. Why didn't you bubble it earlier? Welcome to Shrug City, P. Don't move! We're coming! Okay! Huh? There it is! The pillow! I have to get it off the sand! <laughs> done this in the first place. In my defense, I forgot. So I guess this is goodbye. We had some good times, but I'm sure you have other magical stuff to smash with other magical boys. I love you, Steven. I want to stay with you forever. <gasps> really? Guys, you hear that? Are we really going to let him keep that? We kept Amethyst. with less hitting me in the face this time? Well, it would have worked if your movements weren't so erratic and formless. So it was all my fault? Oh, you totally weren't even trying to sync with my dancing. You should know how I dance by now. Stop! Come on, guys, please stop fighting. If you can't get along with each other, I might never get to see your awesome fusion power. <laughs> and I might get eaten by a giant bird. <laughs> time like this. <gasps> hey, is that the heaven beetle? Let me see it. Uh, hey, uh, be a good goat and give me the magic bug. Uh, uh, I got it. Oh, a bad goat. You're no son 
stay low. See me turn into a giant woman. We're back! The Heaven Beetle. I don't have it. Oh. <laughs> Amethyst, you got distracted. Hey, you were the one getting carried away with all those fancy backflips. Wait a sec. I've got the beetle. Good job, Steven. I also see you helped your teammates views. And all I had to do was get eaten by a bird. Nice work. You'll be great at fusing one day. Yeah. Wait, I can do that too? <laughs> huh, police tape. <gasps> awesome. I'm above the law. Who wants to go for a swim? Pants become shorts. Oh. <laughs> Lars, don't go in there. It's dangerous. Steven, you trying to scare us. Build an atmosphere. I appreciate that. Ooh. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'm not that slow. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, man? Don't! Steven, what is your deal? Oh no! Uh, ah! What's going on? It's some kind of magic moss my mom planted. Wait, your mom? I know what we have to do! This is all your fault! I knew if something went wrong today, it would be because of you! Now I'm never going to be friends with these guys! All because of your weird mom! What do you know about my mom? I didn't even get to know my mom! But I do know she saw beauty in everything! Even in stuff like this! And even in jerks like you! Now help me get them to the car. Cars, hurry! This moss belongs on the top of that hill. Come on, Lars, what are you waiting for? Ah, uh, Steven, I don't know how to drive a stick shift. I'll work the stick. You just keep us on the road. Okay, all right, let's do this. Ignition! Stick power! Steven, no! Put it in reverse! when we get to the top of that hill. I don't know. You don't know? That's just where the moss wants to be. Ah! Oh. Ah! It's getting everywhere. Ah! <laughs> we made it. We're almost there. What do we do now? We got to get up there. Ah! Hurry! Ah! I'm getting stuck. Ah! Oh, don't give up. Steven. What? This sucks. Oh! Lar! <laughs> the moss was just trying to bloom. Ugh, what happened? I think I died. Guys, look! Whoa. Wow. 
You can see all of Beach City from up here. It's beautiful. Yeah. How did we even get here? Well, Steven thought that Lars drove us here. Oh, yeah, Lars. Lars. Our town Super looks so cool. cool, Lars. I can totally rave to this. <laughs> yeah! Steven, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're banned from all the rides, forever! Whoa, we made it? I carried you while you took a nap. Nap! We're back where we started. What? Darn it, there you are. The doors and rooms here make no sense. They all bring you back here. Get me out of here. There are 16 doors and we entered from the northeast and went through three consecutive rooms in a straight line. Ow! But arrived back here out the southernmost door, which can only mean, well, I don't know what it means. I... This is a death trap! What? What do we do? We go back in, again, and again, and again, and again. I can't! Steven! It's okay. No! No, it's not! You were all right about me. I wanted to do this so bad, but now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh, Steven, I didn't really mean that. Wait! Ah, wait, you guys! What if this is just like the teacups? That's why we're getting so lost. That's why I'm feeling so sick. All the rooms are spinning us around, so we end up here. This gem-powered mechanism. It's manipulating the rooms above. Every room we entered spun us until we came back to the central chamber. It's just like the teacup ride at Funland. Steven already figured that out. Oh. <gasps> Garnet, I need to get off the ride now. Serious, Steven? Go! say you handled that adventure very well. Yeah, nice job, serious Steven. I prefer regular Steven. Hey, my ukulele! Oh, that's the end of another day. It was mighty serious, so I'd have to say. The crystal gems looked really cool when they made the temple explode. Ah, they're in my eyes again! Ah! Don't be silly, Steven. Of course you are. And you're fun to have around, even if your gem is useless. Huh? I mean, you're one of us, Steven. We're not the crystal gems without you. Yeah, even if I don't have powers, I've still got Cookie Cat. Mm. So good. <laughs> It's a shield. Oh, what? 
I get a shield? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh? Cookie Cat! I summon my weapon by eating ice cream! What's in these things? What was that? Are you crying? Only a little! Well, I guess your powers don't come from ice cream. Of course they don't come from ice cream. Don't worry, Steven. I'm sure someday you'll figure out how to activate your gem. Yes, in your own Steven-y way. I'm okay, guys. I just... Uh, I think I ate too many cookie cats. It's too big for the van. Okay? Mmm. If every pork chop were perfect. We wouldn't have hot dogs! That thing's getting huge. It's freaking me out. Can't the van go any faster? This is faster. Don't worry. Uh, come on, let's put on your CD. Uh, really? Uh, come on, you've heard it. You come on. I know I'm not that tall. I know I'm not that smart. But let, let me, me drive, drive my, my van, van into, into your heart. heart. Let me drive my van into your heart. I know I'm not that rich. I'm trying to get my start. So let me drive my van into your heart. Let me drive my van into your heart. And if we look at a place, well, baby, that's okay. I'll drive us into outer space. Huh? Throw me again. I think I'm cracking it. Is that? Oh, he really had it. We're saved! Let me drive my man into your heart. 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 
We have to use it now. I don't know how it works! It was roses! Dad, how do we use it? Steven, this is serious. The gem. You have Rose's gem! That's it! Ah, uh, come on! Stop that! It's no use! Fine, forget it! Throw me again! That's not going to work! Whoa. I got this! No, wait! No, maybe I don't! Please work! Unlock! Activate! Go! Please! Everyone's counting on you! You can't just be useless! I know you can help! It's okay, Steven. We'll figure out something else. Something even better. Right. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. <laughs> to work. I just said that thing that Dad always says. That thing about pork rinds? Hot dogs. Rose. <laughs> my fan! It's okay, Dad. If every pork chop were perfect... I live in there! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll see you later. Uh... I hope the stars will align for us to meet again. I'm sure they will. Bye, Music Man. I can sing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, Greg, you really missed out. The Dahlia's friends were wild and crazy. Glad that town wasn't a total waste. I met some wild ladies, too. They change shape and appear out of beams of light. I, 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 save the poetry for Empire City, Star Child. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm serious, Marty. Something's going on back there. Are you nuts? Just wait till you see what's ahead of us. It's fame! Hey, what's jammed in your tape deck? You been putting pennies in here, you weirdo? Play something for me, Star Child. Do you believe in destiny? Close your eyes and leave the rest to me. Snore! You're gonna put people to sleep with that. Where's the schlock coming from? I, I just can't stop thinking about that woman at the show. Oh, here we go. How big was she? Eight feet tall, massive hair. See, Greg, this is your problem. Don't get distracted by these small town girls. They don't matter. Ugh, Marty, women are people. Just follow my lead. I'm gonna get you everything you want. What if I wanna go back? What? What if I want to go back and be with her? No one cares about your feelings, Greg. They're making you lose sight of what's really important. Watch the road! <laughs> Why do you always decide what's important? Because I'm your manager and you're just some spaced out kid. I'm taking you to the city and you're gonna play and you're gonna like it. Maybe you'll even make me some money for once. Get out of my van. Sit down, Greg. I said, get out of my van! What are you doing? You're making a huge mistake! Hey, are you in there? I can play for you now. I even revamped my awesome set. This one's for you, mystery woman. Do you believe in destiny? Close your eyes and leave the rest to me. Do you believe in fantasy? I have to when it's right in front of me. Oh, what are you doing here? In the real world, what are you doing here? 
close I could touch you. What are you doing here? And what are you doing to me? Oh, you're wearing the shirt. Please go away. I I'm sorry, did I? <sighs> You're awfully cute. But your life is short and you have dreams. I won't let you give up on everything you want. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Huh? You're everything I want! <laughs> what are you smiling about? You loved her. Come here, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Marty was the worst. Oh, yeah, he was awful. But I guess I owe him a lot. He made it easy for me to stay. I'm glad you did. Yeah. <laughs>